blade and quill. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today let's do some uh, magic. Uh, I am about to show you how easy it is to add edges and shadows to a text and uh, transform those uh, plain and uh, boring flat letters into three-dimensional ones. Then I'll show you how to create a reflection effect. Now be sure to watch until the end of the video as I have a few more tricks in my pocket to share with you. All right, so let's get started. Please pay attention to the two images on the canvas. Soon you will understand why I put them there. That said, let's click on the text icon. With your mouse, click anywhere on the canvas and drag it to create a text box. When you let go of your mouse button, a new window appears. This is the edit text window. Let's choose a font first. Click on this arrow to open the font drop-down menu. Go down the list and look for the font called Engravers Empty. If you already know what you want, you can start typing the name of your font and it will automatically populate for you. Click Enter to make your font active. To change the size of your text, click on the arrow right next to this number. We are going to choose uh, 36. To change the color of your text, click on the arrow right next to the colored square. You can use one of the color swatches of this pre-selected palette. Just click on one of them to select it. You can change the palette that you have on your screen. And now that you have selected a new palette, choose a different swatch color using this window. Or using the drop-down menu right next to it. Finally, you can create your own color by using the color wheel. Now, don't forget to use the side slider to make your color lighter or darker. All right, let me move this on the side like that you can see better. Click on the eyedropper icon to select a color from a reference image located on your canvas. I am going to click on the red scales of a fish. Now, as you can see, my text color exactly matches the red scales of a fish. Click again on the eyedrop icon to select now the color from the giant cyan dot. Finally, let's click again on the icon and this time we are going to grab a color from our main color wheel. So as you can see, we have plenty of options. We are now ready to type our text, uh, highlight this pre-existing text and replace it with yours. I am going to type my channel's name. Just like in a Word document, uh, you can edit your text. I am going to make mine bold and I'm going to center it. If you want spaces between your letters, make sure to click on the kerning functionality. Then using the arrows on the side of this window, increase or decrease the amount of space between your letters. I am going to type 5. When you are done, click save and click close. I am going to remove my uh, reference pictures.
Now you can move your text uh, wherever you want uh, on your canvas. We are going to change the background color. Go to the background layer and unlock it. Choose a nice dark color, any color that you want. Type F, that is the shortcut for the Fill tool. Click anywhere on the canvas and fill it with your selected color. And now the only thing we need to do is uh, relock the background layer. So as you can see, our letters are not bright enough. What we need to do is uh, return to the Edit Text window. To do so, first let's click back on the text icon. Now click anywhere on the text box that is on the canvas to make it active. And click on this button, Edit Text, that is located in the Tool Options Docker. The Edit Text window reappears. So now let's make our text brighter. We are ready to do our changes, so right click on the text layer and select the option Layer Styles. Please note that some functionalities are not implemented yet. Contour, texture and blending options will be available to us in the near future. But uh, no worries, uh, we can still create some awesome text uh, without these options. Let's start by making some changes to the structure of the text. Click on the bevel and emboss line and make sure to check the box right next to it to make it active. The style we are going to choose is uh, inner bevel. For the technique, I want you to select uh, Chisel Hard. Leave the depth to 100%. Leave the direction to up. And we are going to leave a soften to 0 pixels. Now type 40 in the size window and click enter. Moving on to the shading of a text. Type minus 90 degrees in the angle box. Type 45 degrees in the altitude box. As I told you earlier, counter is not available yet, so we will skip that one. Choose a screen for the highlight mode. And if the color is not white, make sure to change it. Slide the opacity to its maximum 100% or you can type 100 in the box if you want. Change the shadow mode to overlay. Change the color to black if it's not already there. And finally type 100% in the opacity box or just use a slider you choose. Click on the stroke option and make sure to check the box right next to it. Make the size 5 pixel or type 5 and click enter. The position is inside. The blend mode is a linear burn. We want the opacity to be 50% so type 50 and click enter. Click on the color overlay and check the box right next to it. Change the blend mode to color. Click on the color window and at the very bottom I want you to type the following letters hashtag B7BCBE. And click OK. To create the drop shadows, click on the drop shadow option and check the box right next to it. Change the blend mode to overlay.
Type 50 in the opacity box and click Enter. Type 25 in the distance box, click Enter. Type 40 in the spread box and click Enter. And finally type 50 in the size box and click Enter. We are going to change the angle of the shadow. Type 45 in the angle box and click Enter. We are done. Not bad, right? To unsee your changes, just click on the FX button right next to your layer. Here you can see the original text. Now click again on the FX button to see your changes. Let's rename this layer. Click F2 and name it Drop Shadow. Now let's hit Ctrl plus J to make a copy. We can turn off the drop shadow layer. Rename the copied layer and type Reflection. Right click on the Reflection layer. Choose Layer Styles. We are going to undo the drop shadows. Just uncheck the box and the drop shadows will disappear. Click OK. We are going to copy the reflection layer. Hit Ctrl plus J. This time we don't need to rename it. Just right click on it. Go down and select Convert. Then choose to Paint Layer. We are going to transform this text Hit Ctrl plus T to get to your transform uh, uh, functionality. Using the Flip Selection Vertically button, we are going to flip our text. Now try to align this text with the one that is on the top. And when you are done, click Apply. Drop the opacity of your layer to 25%. Create a new layer and rename it Line. Grab the Assistant. Select the Infinite Ruler. Click once on the canvas to create your ruler's first point. Now hold the shift key. The second point snaps to position. Now still holding the shift key, click on that second point. You can now left go of the shift key. You have created a perfectly horizontal ruler. Grab your brush. Select the airbrush soft. In the size box, type 15 and click Enter. Type X on your keyboard to switch from the foreground color to the background color. Check the box Snap to Assistant. Go back to the Assistant. And using the move button on the control panel, move your ruler between the letters. Increase the size of the ruler as needed. Click B to get back to your brush. The only thing left to do is to trace a line between the letters. Go back to your assistant and remove it. Click B to get back to your brush and click on the eraser icon. Increase the size of your brush and now clean the edges of your line. When you are done, undo the eraser. 
we are going to blur this line so go to uh, filter go down to blur and select Gaussian blur move the slider until you are happy I think I like the effect around this number so I'm going to type 35 and you are done Let's have a quick look at what we have done. We started with a very plain flat text to which we added some sharp edges and drop shadows. Then we removed the drop shadows and replaced them with a lightly blurred reflection. Please understand that you can do many things to a text. These are only simple examples. If you wanted, you could change your reflection and make it darker. To do so, use the Ctrl U functionality and move the cursor of the lightness slider all the way to the left. You could also increase even more the blur of your reflection. Alright, so let's go back to uh, the Filter tab and go to Blur and select Gaussian Blur and uh, moving your cursor very slowly uh, toward the right side of your screen you're going to increase the blur of your reflection. Click OK when you are done. Let's go back to our layer style. Click on Pattern Overlay and check the box right next to it to make it active as usual. Now choose any patterns of your choice. Don't forget that you can change the size of your pattern using this scale slider. Finally, you can change the color of your letters. To do so, go back to Color Overlay and check the box to make it active. Now change the Blend Mode to Overlay and click on the Color window to change the colors. We are going to choose an orange color. Click OK when you are done. Alright, we are done for today. I hope this was helpful. Have fun and play with all the buttons to see what you can create on your own. I will see you next Monday. If you have any questions, make sure to put them in the comment area and I will do my best to answer them as soon as I can. Have a great week and have fun creating art. Bye.